So this question says 66x equals 66x. So that's very, very interesting. I've never seen a SAT question like that before. Um, the question goes on to say, how many solutions does the given equation have? All right, so it's trying to be slightly tricky. Um, here's the rule. Anytime what you have on the left side of the equal sign is an exact match for what you have on the right-hand side of the equal sign, it means that there are infinitely many solutions. Here's the reason. No matter what I say x is equal to, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth, into infinity, both sides of the equation will always be a match, right? No matter what I plug in for the x value here, I have to also plug in for the x value there, and therefore the equation will still remain true. So there are infinitely many solutions. x can be an infinite number of values, and the equation will still be true. So choice C is correct.